Well, it was a scene that terrified mid-state neighbors this week. As we first told you about it last night here at 10, rocks from a nearby construction project blasted into the air and then falling through the roofs and ceilings right into people's homes. Tonight, News Channel 5's Jason Lamb is getting to the bottom of this story. He spoke to the Hendersonville Fire Marshal, who says the company responsible for the blast had an expired blasting permit, meaning a required safety inspection was not done. New video from homes in the Stonecrest subdivision off Saundersville Road in Hendersonville shows the moments when rocks came falling from the sky after construction blasting carried out by H and H constructors next door. The rocks fly so fast it's hard to spot them, but take a look at one projectile right before it ended up going through a garage door. As the dust clears, neighbors try to figure out what's going on. But you don't need to rely on the video to see what happened here. Even a day later, you can still spot rocks that had been flying through the air, now lying on the ground. And now we're learning new details from the Hendersonville Fire Marshal, who says H&H &H Constructors did not have a current blasting permit for the site. It had expired meaning the site went without a required safety inspection in the months before yesterday's accident. Because we did not know they were out there and had an active blasting permit, we did not go do a safety inspection on this project because we did not know they were there. Yesterday's blast sent this um, huge rock this through Windy Mako's ceiling. If it had been just, you know, minutes before, I would have been walking out because I'd been getting ready to go to work. The owner of H&H &H Constructors, Kingsley Hooper, told us today he wasn't aware his company's blasting permit for the site had expired. He said seismic readings show the power of yesterday's blast was within legal limits and the same strength as other blasts that have been going on for two years. But the fire marshal says it's clear the impact of yesterday's blast was far different from anything that's happened there before. We were very fortunate yesterday that nobody got hurt in the neighborhood. There was a large amount of rock that flew off that site and, and could have hurt or killed someone yesterday. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.